Hello, welcome to Tazunomi Online Mathematics. We are still on solving of random questions uh, from the WASI to keep ourselves abreast approaching the WASI coming in August, September. All right, so this is on the menstruation one. So we have a solid brass cube of side 10 cm is being melted down and it is being recast to form a solid cone of which the height is 10 cm and the base radius is r cm our task is to calculate the radius r of the cone the radius of the cone then the curved surface area of the cone all right the, the statement beginning, we know a cube is of this form. So if the sides are given as 10, it means each of the sides are what? 10 centimeters. Since it's a solid, we can find, it means that it is not just like a box, but it is just like a, a cube of sugar. You know, when you break the cube of sugar, it becomes plenty of sugars. So in that concept, it means the volume of that cube of sugar is being the same as it's being melted to form a cone. You know, those who are making uh, coconut toffee knows that when you melt the sugar, it is being used, added to the coconut water to make what? Toffee. It means you are making a full set of objects all together. It means the volume of your sugar determines the quantity of toffees you get. So that simply means that the volume of the cube is the same as the volume of the new cone being formed. So I'll start by finding the volume of each of them. So volume. We know a volume of a cube. A cube is a three-dimensional shape which has the length, breadth, and height all being the same. So length times length times the length. So I have the L cube, which in this case is going to be 10 centimeter for all of them being what? Cube. That means 10 times 10 times 10. 1000 centimeter cube. That is the first volume of the cube. Now let's find the volume of the cone. We know a volume of a cone is given by one third times the base area, which is our pi r square. That is the, the base area is a circle. Then times what? The height. Just like a pyramid. The base area times the height. So in this case, we are going to find the, the values that we can get. Pi is given to us. So this means I have one over three times 22 on 7 as in case of pi then times my r square which i don't know it is r then times the height of the cone which is given as what well, 10 centimeter all right so with this what do we do we are left with the r square so we can multiply all the figures together and see what we can get Using all this to be on top, so I'll be having 10 times 22. That will be 220 times 1. Still, I have what? 220R squared. This will be divided by 7 times 3 is what? 21. This is how far we can go in terms of the volume of the cone. Because the value of R is unknown. All right. Now we can know that the volume before and volume after are the same. Meaning before is cube, after is a cone. So let's equate that. So like I said earlier on, the volume of the solid before the process, the, the cube, is equal to the volume of the solid after the process, that is the cone. That simply means that the first volume we had, which is what? 1,000 is the same as our 
22 0r square over 21 that is the meaning it means the two uh, volumes are the same so here we can operate this by cross multiplication and that will give us 220r square equals to 21 times what 1000 so we are looking for the r square so we divide by the coefficient so that will be 220 r square over 220 then this become 21000 over 220 so right away this will cancel you'll be left with only r square equals to these values so by putting that in the calculator we will have our r square equals to 95.45 as into two decimal places so if that is the r square but we are looking for r not the r square so this will be translated to mean the root of r square equals to root of 95.45 we are finding the root of the two side in order to cancel our r square then that is going to be our r equals to the root of that on the calculator will give us 9.77 don't forget the measurement are in centimeter so 9.77 centimeter so we have succeeded in finding solution to the first part of the question find what the radius r of the cone the radius of the cone which is going to be 9.77 centimeter or better still 10 centimeter to the nearest whole number so we are done with the first task the second task is that we have to find the curved surface area of the cone we know if i want to draw the cone we know a cone It's like this, whereby from the center to here is our R. Then don't forget, this is called our slant height. Then the height itself is here, forming 90. If I need the curved surface area, so if I need the curved surface area, which is going to be pi R L pi times the radius of the cone times the slant height and the slant height is not known but we know this we know this so it means before i start with this formula i have to find the slant height and you can see as i put this here meaning it is a right angle triangle pythagoras theorem can be used so i'll be having l square equals to a square plus what? R square. That is using the Pythagoras theorem. I need the slant height. So that is going to be, this is our 10 in the question. It's given to us. So 10 square, then this is what we just found as 9.77 all what? Square. So let's put that in the calculator and see. 100 plus what do we get in that? Let's find that. So that will give us back our 95.45. And if we add the two, we have 195.45. Don't forget the L is what we are looking for is squared. So let me take care of this. So we are going to say that our slant height is going to be the root of 195.45. And that will give us, we have we know 196 will be 13. So let's see what we have for the calculator. So 13.98 centimeter. So the slant height of the cone is 13.98. Don't forget that is not our target. Our target is the curved surface area, which is pi r l. In this case, 22 over 7 
R, which is our 9.77 slant height, 13.98. So our tax is to multiply this by this by 22 divided by what? 7. And if we do that with the calculator, we can do that in two steps as in find the product of this divided by this, then find the answer thereof. But I will use that final aspect of it on the calculator directly to see what we can get. And that will give us 429.27 centimeter. Don't forget the statement is what? Curved surface area. This has a dimension of centimeter. This has a dimension of centimeter. So it becomes what? Centimeter what? Squared. So therefore, the curved surface area of the cone, which has been recast from the cube, will just be what? 429.27 centimeter squared. I believe you follow the process. Take it step by step, find the volume on the first, equate to the second, find out which are the dimensions missing, put them together, and you are good to go. I will ask you to also take a similar question under menstruation. Take a similar question, try and see if you can transfer this knowledge you had to that area and solve it. If you are able to solve it, then it means we are progressing together. We are learning together. We learn, relearn, and I learn together. Together, we grow. Please, after watching this, share it with your colleagues or those who may need it. Comment, subscribe to the channel Tazunomi Online Mathematics. Don't forget to click on the notification bell so that anytime I upload any video, you will be the first to watch. It has been a pleasure coming your way. Bye-bye.